Let's have a quick look at the headlines. More election hopefuls troop to the Commission on Elections today for the second day of filing of certificates of candidacy. The Armed Forces of the Philippines denies deploying troops to the disputed Spratly Islands, calling this part of a disinformation campaign. The Department of Labor and Employment has vowed to verify job opportunities offered to Filipino household help to ensure that these are good and safe. And the Philippines bags the Peace Cup after nearly a century of trying to get it. President Aquino is confident the candidates he endorsed for the senatorial race will sustain the country's reform agenda. The administration's slate has been criticized as a collection of strange bedfellows, but the president prefers to call a group with a good agenda. Ina Andalong with this report. The administration's coalition ticket for next year's senatorial race is all set. Out of the 12 candidates in the lineup, three are from the Liberal Party, youth leader Bam Aquino and former Senators Jambi Madrigal and June Magsaysay. Nationalista Party members in the slate are Senators Alan Peter Cayetano and Antonio Trillanes IV and former Las Piñas representative Cynthia Villar. Also in the lineup are Aurora representative Sonny Angara, former Akbayan Representative Risa Ontiveros, MTRCB Chairperson Grace Polia Manzares, and Senator Coco Pimentel. Senators Chis Escudero and Loren Legarda are also in the list. President Aquino urges the public to vote for the slate to ensure continuity in his campaign for good governance. Ang masisiguro ko po sa inyo, ang labindalawang kandidatong inahahain ng samahang ito, ang tutulong sa pagpitas ng mga reformang ipinunla natin itong huling dalawang taon. Nangangako po sila sa atin. Hindi sila magnanakaw. Lalo nilang papapaspasin ang tinatamasa nating bagbag. Pagbabago. Hindi nila bibiguin ang inyong tiwala. President Aquino also took a swipe at the opposition. Sa totoo lang po, may na naman sa kabilang, sa kabilang hanay ang kumampi sa amin sa importante mga isyu. Pero ngayon, ang kakampi nila ay yung mga walang ginawa kundi kumontra. Six political groups will be working together in the administration's ticket. To help ensure an organized campaign, LP has assigned seasoned politician Senator Franklin Drillon as their campaign manager. Senators Escudero and Legarda, as well as Polia Manzares, will run as common candidates of LP and the United Nationalist Alliance or UNA. Drillon, however, says there's no such thing as a common candidate for them. He says this is why they've imposed a policy in LP prohibiting their candidates from attending campaign sorties of other parties they are affiliated with. Pag tumayo itong mga kinaadapt nilang kandidato sa platforma ng kabila, eh ibig bang sabihin iniendurso ng aming kasama yung uh, ibang kandidato, which means that they will junk some of the administration candidates. While Paul Yamanzares and Senator Escudero have no problems with this, Legarda has not given a direct answer if she will comply with the policy. Aside from possible conflicts in having common candidates, could there be conflict within the slate too? Madrigal and Villar say they have no problem running in the same slate. Madrigal used to have a row with Villar's husband, Senator Manny Villar, over the alleged anomalies in the C5 road extension project. No problem. We have moved on. Wala naman sigurong uh, sakit ng loob na dapat pag-usapan. LP senatorial candidates didn't waste any time telling the media how they plan to go about their campaign and what they plan to do if elected. Bam Aquino says he wants to represent the youth at the Senate, while Angara has already asked some advice from his dad, Senator Ed Angara. Senator Pimentel, however, is more focused on ensuring that this year's automated election system is enough to prevent a repeat of his experience in 2007 when he became a victim of election fraud. While some of LP's bets have not done well in recent surveys, Drillon believes they won't have much problem campaigning for them, especially with the president there to support the lineup. Candidates agree President Aquino's endorsement will boost their chances of winning in the senatorial race. In Andalong, Solar News. The United Nationalist Alliance has an incomplete senatorial slate. Una hints at dropping three more candidates, specifically its common candidates with the Liberal Party. Despite the setback, Una believes it will, it will put up a good fight in 2013. Camille Elemia has that story. 
Una senatorial candidate Joey De Venecia withdraws his candidacy today to focus on his business. This came as a surprise as he was one of the first names announced to run under Una. Una official Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile is not keen on replacing De Venecia in the Una slate, saying the coalition is not required to fill the maximum 12 names for senatorial bets. It is not a, a compelling uh, matter for us to fill up all the, posi the positions because uh, there are others that um, uh, are sympathetic to us so, uh, in other parties too, you know. Vice President Jeju Marvina is not about to close the door on other options, saying the coalition still has time to decide up to October 5. Despite an incomplete slate, UNA lived up to its name for being first. The coalition filed its slate certificates of candidacy altogether on the first day of filing and at 1 in the afternoon. Present are UNA senatorial candidate Senator Gregorio Honasan, Representatives J.V. Ejercito, Jack Enrile, Mitos Magsaysay, former Senators Miguel Zubiri, Ernesto Maceda, Richard Gordon, former Tarlac Governor Margarita Tingting Coanco, and UNA Executive Committee Enrile, Binay, and former President Joseph Estrada. Senator Lauren Legarda, though she did not file her COC simultaneously with UNA, filed hers the same day, but at a different time to follow Feng Shui predictions. Meanwhile, on the issue of Senator Franklin Drillon's statement disallowing common candidates to share the campaign stage with UNA, Binay says UNA may drop the common candidates if LP insists on its rule. There are three common candidates of LP and UNA, incumbent Senators Francis Escudero and Loren Legarda, and Movie and Television Review and Classification Board Chair Grace Paul Lemanzares. UNA earlier said Lemanzares is an exception and that they will not require her to campaign with them. The stalwarts of Una and Lemanzares' father, the late Fernando Poe Jr., were best of friends. Legarda, for her part, says she told President Aquino about her arrangement with Una. She says the president accepted that fact. Former LP President Mar Rojas earlier said the failure of common candidates to pick their party reflects more on them than on the party. It reflects on the winnability of the candidate. It's not negative. It's Una still lacks one candidate. Whether or not they replace the Venetia in their slate, problem on common candidates will still arise. In a country where there is no definite political party system, it is hard to determine who joins you because of belief in ideals or belief in electoral success. Camille Elemia, Solar News. The mood at the Comlec yesterday was festive. Candidates brought their respective groups to get the people's attention. This is a preview of the character of the 2013 polls. More on that from Carol Ramoran. The real party when it comes to the filing of certificates of candidacy happens outside the Palacio del Gobernador, where supporters of the candidates gather and cheer for their senatorial bets. As early as 6 in the morning, political supporters marched up to Palacio del Gobernador and the Manila Cathedral. They were well into rehearsing their programs before daybreak. Long-time Comelec employees say having supporters around during the filing of certificates of candidacy is a tradition outside the commission. There are party-goers and then there are the hardcore fiesta-goers. On the other side of the tracks, there are those who air their grievances. Some display their distaste for politicians' bad habits. The more you want change, the more they stay the same. Actually, voila! <laughs> By noon, hundreds of supporters of the United Nationalists Alliance were rooting for their senatorial candidate. Before the steps of the Manila Cathedral, the whole UNA senatorial slate gathered to pray before walking towards the Palacio, followed by their supporters and the traditional harbinger of luck, a Chinese dragon. Vice President Jeju Marbinay, who accompanied the UNA slate, felt the need to apologize to Comelec Chairman Sixto Brillantes, who earlier appealed for calm. Binay said that there was just no stopping the people from showing their support to their senatorial bets. All political supporters said they showed up on their own, a devotion that they say money can't buy. Carol Ramoran, Solar News. Let's check the situation at the Comelec.
This is day two of the filing of certificates of candidacy. Carol's there again. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Jing. The sun is starting to shine here outside the Commission on Elections on the second day of the 2013 elections certificate of candidacy filing. Those expected to file their COCs today here at the Palacio del Gobernador are Senator Chis Escudero, Cynthia Villar, the wife of Senator Manny Villar, and current MTRCB chairperson Grace Polia Manzares. Yesterday, 20 prospective senatorial candidates have already filed their COCs. According to law, upon filing a COC, a person holding an appointive office, including active members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and other officers and employees in government-owned or controlled corporations, will be deemed ipso facto resigned. Such official should have vacated his or her office on the day he or she files a COC. Elected officials, however, can remain in office. Zheng voter registration is suspended from October 1 to 5 to give way to the filing of COCs and will resume on October 6. Voter registration ends on October 31. Zheng. Thank you, Carol. Carol Gamorgan reporting live from Palacio del Gobernador in Manila. This is day two of the filing of COC, so she's going to be there all day today to give us updates from there. Manila Mayor Alfredo Lim says the fight for the mayoralty in the capital will be a friendly fight between him and former President Joseph Estrada. Lim says Estrada is equally deserving to become a Manila mayor due to his experience. He adds, should he win as mayor, it will be his last term as he plans to retire from politics in 2016. Lim says he would like to remake Manila as the financial capital of the country.